how to set up a community interest company and get funded within four months. My name is Kelly Thorne and I'm the founder of Four Elements CIC and I've been successfully getting funding from the Lottery and Arts Council and other funders for the last nine years. I've also helped other people set up their CICs and gain funding as well. I'm proof you can quit your day job, set up a CIC, pay yourself a generous income, do work that you love and feel passionate about and also have great impact on the people's lives that you're helping in the community. But first, I'm going to tell you my story so you know that it's possible to set up a CIC. So back in 2012, I was working as a probation officer. I didn't want to work at a desk all my life. I'm a creative person and I was studying photography in my spare time. So I set up Four Elements CIC and at first I was helping uh, young people in the community in the rap music scene. I was doing their photography and their music videos and mentoring them and helping them gain media skills and music skills. So over the years I've run many different projects. I've even been to Africa, into uh, the Gambia and run education projects helping communities build schools and fund uh, children's education. That was something that was a dream of mine for a long time. I always wanted to go abroad and do some work. But most of the work has been here in my community, working with young disadvantaged people, doing arts workshops. Um, and after the sort of music and media side of things, I got into street art. Um, and now I do a lot of workshops at local murals. I help uh, turn the town around from being sort of a run-down, uh, deprived town um, to uh, create a thriving art scene in the local area. I've also helped young people set up their creative careers. I helped a group of young people start up their own peer-to-peer -peer music studio and get funding to run that, uh, which was a massive, massive thing for them and helped them create their dream careers. I also bought a derelict shop in, in town and turned that around and renovated it. And that was a fantastic project. I loved doing my first renovation. So doing all sorts of things in the community is possible when you have a CIC. You could be helping all kinds of people from homeless people, young people, women's groups, all kinds of things, all kinds of causes, social causes, um, and also creative hobbies if you're into that. So, uh, so for me, as I said, as an artist, I like to do community work that has sort of a creative side to it. So in terms of earnings, I earn around 70,000 a year. That obviously fluctuates depending on what projects I'm doing and what funding I'm getting. Um, sort of the most I've probably got in a year is around 100,000. In terms of hours, I work part-time, around sort of 30 hours a week, but sometimes more or sometimes less. Of course, you're your own boss, so you can design your own schedule. I also take holiday when I want it. So if I know I want to schedule in a holiday, I can. I also know other people that take as much as six months to a year off. So they might run a project for six months and then go and live in another country for another six months or travel. So you can be completely flexible when you have a CIC because you have your own boss and you're only doing small projects. So you can uh, design them and change the length of them to however long you like. The fantastic thing about having a CIC is being able to do something you're passionate about. So all of us have causes and can see problems in society, our community, or maybe even abroad, that we know that we can direct our skills at and can help and, and create impact on people's lives. So if you have a, a certain passion or you have that great idea that's been niggling away at you and you really wanna give up your day job and you really wanna set up a CIC and, uh, and create impact, then this is definitely the course for you. So I'm gonna make this super easy. I'm gonna keep it as quick as possible. Also, feel free to message me at any time. I'm here to help you. So if you've got any questions about setting things up, just message me um, and I'll get back to you. So we're gonna jump in now. So I've broken this down into different modules to make it easy. And of course, you've got a documents pack which goes with this. So let's get started.